Hey creators, it's Gabby from MindDroid, and I'm really excited to jump into project one with you, Catch the Bugs. When programming, coders often get bugs. As a programmer, you have to build the habit in working with the computer to solve your bugs. Now, this can be tricky, but it's important to remember that debugging is a critical part of learning to code. And it's just the way we solve problems. In this project, we're going to be learning three things. We're going to understand that a bug is not just an insect. We're going to figure out how to identify bugs and then how to fix the common bugs that we might get in the Python Turtle module. All right, so let's head over to our table of contents in our tutorial section and open our error and catching bugs. We've already been over what we will be able to do, the why that you, you will be able to. Um, so let's take a look at our project mission, finding errors and getting rid of bugs. That's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and set up our project by copying this code snippet and pasting it into our main PY. And then we'll hit run just to make sure our code snippet compiles. Perfect. There it has set up my screen size to default to opening um, and filling the screen. And I have my turtle appearing. Now, Let's learn to solve bugs. So it's time for challenge one. I'm going to start off by writing a challenge comment. And I'm going to head over to my tutorial and copy this code snippet into my main by and, and then I'm going to hit run. And oh no, I will see that there is a error message that appears in my console. And in order to tackle this error, I'm going to engage with curiosity, almost as if I'm an undercover agent. And I'm going to dive into the details of the console and use the error message to find clues to help me debug my code. Let's jump in. Kind of think of this as your undercover training. All right, so on our first line, we're not going to worry too much about what our first line says. Trace back, which basically means let's go back and, and look through our code. What we want to look at is line two. Line two tells us the location of our bug. So our location is in our main PY, which is where we're working. And then it tells us it is on line 11. So if we go look at line 11, we should find our bug. Next, we're going to look at what kind of bug we have. So our third error line is going to help us find a clue as to what kind of bug or error it is. And in this instance, we're getting a name error. Name forward is not defined. So what that means is, is that name is not defined. Name is a command that the computer does not understand or recognize or can interpret, which means we've made some kind of typo or mistake in the type of command we're giving the computer. And if you look carefully, forward is misspelt. So we have this red squiggly line also helping us and I'm going to correct it and I, I think that's what's wrong. And ah, there we go. I've puzzled it out. So that is our first error, name not defined. Why don't we go ahead and copy the second code snippet and paste it below. And you may notice two things. You may notice this little red arrow appears and it's giving us a clue as to the, that there's something wrong with our code and it might be something to do with this parentheses or brackets, but let's go use the method we just learned. So we're going to check um, the location of the error, which is in the main PY, line 12. And then we're going to see where you get this, the kind of error is a syntax error. A syntax error is either because we've left something out in our command or because we've made the incorrect punctuation mark or accidentally put something in the wrong place. In, in this case, I think I know what it is. I've used one too many parentheses at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run and see if I figured it out. Beautiful. My code works. I have a forward command and then I have a left 90 degrees. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly the order of operations that my turtle performed. 
It drew a line forward and it turned left by 90 degrees. Congratulations, we've just finished our undercover detective training. So just to recap quickly, we have um, a command that is underlined generally means that there is an error in our code. We can use our console to and error message in the console to help us debug. And third, a little arrow or a little red line may indicate that something is missing. And these are all things we can use to debug our code. Why don't we head on over to challenge two? So remember for good measure, I'm going to, to comment my code and I'm going to, so that it does not compile, and then I'm going to mark challenge two. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code snippet for my undercover training. Wow, that's a lot of code and a lot of bugs, it seems. So I hit run um, and I've returned, it's returned an error. I'm going to pause here and invite you to pause the video and then work through your code line by line and see if you can be a real great undercover detective in training and find all the clues and bugs. I thought I would show you the method I use to figure this out and I kind of cheated a little bit to make it a little easier for myself. So the first thing I did was I commented out every line of code. The reason being, and as you can see, as I'm commenting this out, each line is graying out. And the reason I've done that is because I want to work from top to bottom and I want to work in sequence and I'm not yet familiar with all the kinds of errors I might get. So. I kind of want the reward mechanism of every time I figure something out, I want the output to no longer show the error message, but rather reveal the image we're creating. So pen size 15. If I hit run, it works. It's just a black screen, a big black screen. I'm going to uncomment this code and I think that the error I have here is that I am missing inverted commas. And that is because a string is in inverted commas. Text is in inverted commas. All right, my next one, forward. I'm gonna uncomment my code and see. Ah, that one just works, brilliant. I'm going to do the next one. So it's gone forward. I think I can already see, ah, I've got my syntax error, so it's on line 23 and it's that syntax error. So I'm going to remove that additional bracket and I think that's gonna work. And then I'm going to hit run again. And I had another error which said on line 23, is that right? Right is not defined. So I have a typo there, R-I-G-H-T. All right, right plus my angle, which is right. All right, I have another error in line 24. Oh, ward error again. It's a silly typo, and often it's just a silly typo that trips you up. There we go. All right, so I have this. I've got right 90, that looks right to me. Oh no. Let's see, line 25, right. Oh, something string? Type error, bad operand, and a string. Oh, I see. The angle is a numeric value and not a string, so I'm going to correct that. All right, let me uncomment line 26. Can you puzzle out what it's going to draw? There might even be a clue in the comment. A house walls. Awesome, my code, I'm starting to see the house reveal itself. This is very exciting. Oh no, invalid syntax error, okay. Ooh, this is an interesting one. We haven't encountered this before, but we are only allowed one command per line. That should do it. All right, next. Let's uncomment that code. 
That looks pretty good to me. It's the same as this pen size. Oh no, indentation error. Unexpected indent. I see, this is a new one. So as you can see, there's a little gap here um, and there shouldn't be, so an indent means that the command is indented. It's sort of, there's a space between the edge of the, and I take that away and that should work. I'm going to do the same with pen color. I'm just going to assume that that's going to give me an error and I'm following the sequence and pattern. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna uncomment this. We're gonna turn left. We're going to move forward. Oh, I think this is the roof as this comment is giving me a little clue. We're so close, we're three commands away. So much debugging, right? Oh no. Syntax error again. I see my numeric value is not within the parentheses or brackets. It needs to be inside. And then I've got two more forward. All right. All right, that command works, but it is missing a positional argument. So I'm missing numerical value. I'm gonna go with 75 because that's, or maybe 100, because that's here, forward 100. Let's see. Oh, that's too much, so I need a little bit less. It's too long, it's not completing. Here's some problem solving, not debugging. Awesome, and then my last, I'm gonna uncomment my last line of code and see hide turtle does. I'm predicting it hides the turtle, which it does. All right, it's time for did you know? Remember, this is our trivia section with fun facts about our project. Like, did you know that Grace Hopper coined the term debugging after she found a moth in her computer? Wild. Why don't you take a minute to read through the did you know section before moving on to our reflection, AKA quiz time. A reminder is how you can initiate your quiz. You can copy the code snippet from the reflection section. Just shift your code down, paste it in line one and hit run. And that should initialize your quiz in the console. I think we can successfully say we now know how to catch bugs and that's a wrap for project one. Thank you so much for coding with me. I'm looking forward to the next one.